Hi everyone, how are you doing? So guys, today we are going to talk about the concept of double circulation system. So guys, in our last video, we talked about all the tissues existing in the heart, how they work, a, a, a really brief introduction about uh, those two circuits, pulmonary and systemic circuit. And now we are going to use all those fundamental informations for confirming the question which it says, how the double circulation system occurs. So let's start. So guys, at first, let's notice all the times, as a reminder, that the right hand side of the heart is composed with deoxygenated blood and the left hand side of the heart is composed with oxygenated blood. So now, first, let's talk about the pulmonary circuit. So first, we know that the gas exchange has to occur in this case. So the carbon dioxide rich and the oxygen poor blood has to be transferred through the lungs. So the gas exchange is going to occur and then the oxygenated blood is going to come back to the heart. So in this case, it's going to come to my mind or let's say it's going to come to our mind that uh, something has to pump out that deoxygenated blood, which in this case it is going to be the ventricles. And we are saying that they are going to pump out the deoxygenated blood. So it has to be the right hand side of the heart. So in this case, the right ventricle. So guys, the right ventricle is going to pump out. They are going to contract. Those ventricles are going to contract with each other. So the right ventricle is going to pump out that well pressurized deoxygenated blood to the lungs. And then when those deoxygenated blood, uh, they reach the lungs, they are going to give it to the capillaries. And then in that case, the gas exchange occurs. And then the Arabic respiration happens. And instead of carbon dioxide, the lung will deliver the oxygen and it will give it to the pulmonary veins. And then the pulmonary veins, they will carry and transport those oxygenated blood through the left atrium. So now in this case, the atrioventricular valves are going to be open since the atria are getting ready in order to push down the blood through the ventricles. So in this case, so in this case the atrioventricular valves are going to be open and then the atria are going to contract with each other. So the blood is going to be pushed down through the ventricles. And then in this case, the oxygenated blood is going to be present in the left ventricle. So now, in this case, the semilunar valves are going to become open and then the ventricles are going to contract with each other. So in this case, the left ventricle uh, is going to pressurize the blood and pump it out through the aorta while it is going to pass through the aortic valve and also the same for the right ventricle that while they are pumping out uh, the deoxygenated blood through the lungs they are going to pass uh, through the pulmonary valves so in this case while those oxygenated blood they will be transported by the aorta the aorta will transport and carry those oxygenated blood through all over the body all the cells and the tissues in the body all the main organs of the body so example, uh, for, so for example, when it reaches to one of the organs or the one of the tissues of, that, of the body, um, so at first, uh, the aorta is going to give the oxygenated blood to the arteriole. That's we are going to talk about, that we are going to talk about this concept later. So first, they are going to give the oxygenated blood to the arterioles, and then the arterioles are going to give it to the capillaries and now the capillaries are going to uh, carry these oxygenated blood to all over the tissue so uh, all the cells in that organ or let's say in that tissue are going to be well supplied with enough water nutrients and oxygen so instead of oxygen those waters and uh, those water molecules and those nutrients and minerals needed for the cells in our body they are going to be used, but that oxygen is going to be converted into carbon dioxide. So instead of oxygen, the capillaries are going to give carbon dioxide to the venules 
and then the vanilles are going to give those uh, carbon dioxide rich and oxygen poor to the veins so guys when uh, those uh, minerals I'm, I'm sorry like those uh, oxygenated blood they are being transported they are being carried by the capillaries in this case another system uh, will take on which is well known as a subsystem of circulatory system which is well known as the lymphatic system but we are going to talk about this concept later but just let's notice that there are a couple of systems that they are going to provide help they provide help for the circulatory system that's why we are calling it a subsystem of the circulatory system which one of them is well known as the lymphatic system so guys as the veins or let's say the inferior and the superior vena cava coming from the aorta coming from the capillaries in each cells and and in each tissue they are going to bring back the deoxygenated blood to the left i'm sorry to the right atrium so why to the right atrium why not the left atrium because they are carrying deoxygenated blood and as i said before the right hand side of the heart has to be composed with deoxygenated blood so let's notice all the times that the inferior vena cava they will bring the deoxygenated blood uh, from the lower lower side of the heart lower organs that means the organs which are present under the heart and the superior vena cava they are bringing the deoxygenated blood from the organs and the tissues and each cells in the body which are in the upside upper side of the heart so in this case when they reach the right atrium again the atria will contract with each other in order to push down uh, the the oxygenated or the oxygenated blood to the ventricles by those valves and let's notice that let's as a reminder that the in the left hand side in the left hand side of the heart there are mitral valves and in the right hand side of the heart there are tricuspid valves that when they are collected with each other in addition they are well known as the atrioventricular valves and then the atria will contract with each other in order to push down the deoxygenated the or deoxygenated the blood to the ventricles. So, and this circuit is going to happen again and again, time by time. So guys, that's all for today. If you want to be sure and if you want to ensure that you know everything about the heart, you have to, uh, you can take a look uh, from a last video, which is related to all the tissues and cells uh which are composed uh in the heart and all things related to it all the functions about it the walls the chambers the main muscles in the body so you can take a look from my last video and yeah that's all for today so guys don't forget to subscribe like and share and if you haven't turned on the bell yet please do it so guys see you in our next video